Hey guys, what's up? This is Andrew. I'm back with guitar lessons. I haven't done a guitar lesson in uh, feels like years, but I am back this time, and uh, I'm back with acoustic guitar, as you can see here. And for the next couple of lessons, I want to do some classic Hall Notes songs. You know, the the, the biggest band of the '80s uh, for, by any stretch. And uh, this this week, I'm going to do uh, Man Eater, one of the most famous songs. And I'm going to do it on acoustic guitar. So this is an acoustic breakdown, uh, and I'm going to show you the intro. Uh, first and then the verse and then the chorus so uh, let's let's start start off with, with the intro here as you, the intro is very similar to the chorus as well but we'll get into that later and this is standard tuning everything standard e tuning uh, and uh, I'm using a spectrum acoustic guitar or you know as simple as it gets so what we're going to do is we're going to start off uh, with uh, the intro itself is, is uh, on on the record itself. It's, it's played. Uh, it starts off with the bass. There's a famous bass line like. But this is acoustic guitar. I mean, uh, recently Hall Notes have been doing a lot of acoustic shows. So, uh, and you know, an acoustic guitar is, uh, it's, I, I think, I think it's, uh, you know, it, it's got a, a better feel to it. So um, we start off with a B, B minor bar chord here on the seventh fret of the E. If you don't know how to do a B minor bar chord, uh, just look it up online. It's very easy to do. So B minor bar chord here, seventh fret of the E. You can do it. You can do it here as well if you want. It's really up to you. I just prefer to do it here because of the progression, which is about to follow. So, right, then A major bar chord, moving up three frets, like that. So a major on the fifth fret of the uh, E. Uh, again, you can also do the uh, A major here, whatever you want, but I prefer it here because it's kind of easier. And then we've got G major bar chord. Again, just three frets up exactly the same shape as the A on the third fret of the E. And then back to A. And the way I like to play it, it's uh, kind of like playing the bass line. Uh, this, is, this is kind of how I play it. Oh, it's kind of like I guess kind of like a reggae feel, but uh, just the downstrokes and just just muting with the palm of your hand. So again, I use the bar chords here because this is the progression going up and down. If you want, you can use you can use the chords up here. No, the, the open chords. It's really up to you. Really it depends what you want. So that's the intro. We played that a couple of times. Um, so again, uh, so B minor, A major, G major, A major, back to A major, uh, and then we go to the verse, and I'll just play the verse to you again. Uh, I'll just, I'll just uh, kind of sing hum along in the background so you know what I'm talking about. So it's Shalom, come out of that lean hung grass. So as you saw, there are there are, there is num there are a number of chords, and, and here I, I like to play the open chords. I I, I don't know why. It, the, there's really no chords are chords everywhere. They have a slightly different sound as in different parts, but I just prefer to play the open chords here because they're they're closer together. So we start off with a, an open D major. You know, just just follow the pattern. So it's a standard four four pattern. So that's that's how I played. You can play it. However, you, or you can arpeggio it so like it, it's up to you. So D major, then A major here, or you can bar it. I, I, I'm not explaining the shapes. Uh, the shapes are very easy. If you don't, if you don't know them, just just look up basic guitar shapes on Google, Google Images, or anywhere you'll see them. So a D to A to C. So we'll see here. To B major. Uh, you remember last time we used B minor, but we're doing a B major here. Um, and a B major here is the second fret of the A string. And then you use this 
the finger here, the ring finger, to bar these three strings. So like that. It, it's this is a one of the more complicated uh, chord uh, chords in 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 the, in the song, especially for beginners. So practice that. Uh, I mean, if 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 you really want to, you can I guess do the the B major all the way here, the bar major, which is very similar to the minor we used in the intro, but it's all the way up here, and uh, it just I think it's, it's a lot better to learn how to do this shape in, in long term. So, so, so far it's D to A, to C, to B major, and then we do an E minor here. E minor here, open E minor, so just basically you can use these two fingers, I use these two fingers, just uh, second fret on A on and the second fret on the D. And then after that, we go back to the A, then we do this interesting chord, we switch position, which I'll explain in a second, and then we go to B minor. And then go back to A. Well, I mean, you don't have to. You can just continue going with the B minor. But it's it's kind of plain. What I like to do is I like to go between the B and the A major. So it's. And I'll explain why uh, as we get to the chorus. So um, all all the chords here are pretty simple except for for the last the last two. So D to A to C to B major here, barring with the ring finger, to open E minor, back to A, and th this is half time, so the first time we played the A it was, this time we play it in, in half the time, so, and then we go here, now this is, this is an optional chord, I mean, if, if you're gonna, you, most people are going to find pretty hard switching between the two chords, so we, we, we've got the standard, a here, and this is why I like to play the open chords here. So we use these these three fingers, or you can borrow it, but in this case, I use the three fingers uh, on the. So we have the index finger on the second fret of the uh, D. Then we have the middle finger on the second fret of the G, and we have the ring finger on the second fret of the B. And then so you play it in half uh, half half of the time as you play the, all the last chords. So it's. And then what you do is you take these two fingers, you leave the ring finger on the second fret of the B, and you put the index finger on the first fret of the A, here, and then you put the middle finger on the second fret of the uh, D, where the index finger was when we were playing the A. So you move them like this. It's a pretty, pretty complex shape. I'm just trying to show you guys here like that. Uh, and it sounds, on its own, it sounds really weird. It's kind of like this diminished minor chord but uh, it's it's kind of this this progression from the A if you listen to the song it's because the thing is here we have just the acoustic guitar and the song is full of there's basses and there's flutes and there's a saxophone and all sorts of guitars and pianos so here with one instrument we're trying to do what a bunch of instruments are doing uh, there so it's so you go so you switch between the A to this this diminished A here so practice that. If you can't do it, just 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 play the A. Uh, but you, you're not quite, quite going to get that same sound that you get from the song. So after we play that, this the shape here. So we we'll play a B minor. So a B minor uh, right here is it's exactly the same as the B minor was here. It's just here. You see, it's the same sound. But here, instead, what we have is um, uh, we were using this finger to bar these three strings on the fourth fret. Now we add, we uh, kind of stop barring. We pick up this the, the ring finger, and we just have it on the fourth fret of the uh, D. And uh, we use the little finger on the fourth fret. Sorry, the fourth fret of the G. And then we use the little finger on the fourth fret of the D, keeping. Uh, so we've got this kind of like power chord shape. Like that, and uh, and then uh, we use this uh, middle finger here and put it on the third fret of the B. So, and it's you, you can you can also bar the rest of the strings with this. You don't have to, but if, if you're not going to be barring anything, make sure not to play the open E, or else it's going to be it's not going to sound right. If you're going to play, just bar it. So, 
again, this is this is a pretty hard shape. But the uh, the the major B and the minor B, you know. But this this is just this is the same on these strings. It's the, it's the same shape as a major A here. So uh, so and uh, so we we kind of play it. What I like to do is you can just play the. But I like to go between that and the A uh, major. So. And the reason for that is because we get to the chorus, and, uh, and as I told you, the chorus is almost identical to um, the verse. And the chorus starts with a B minor as well, and then you have a B minor here. So it's you're kind of playing the same chord again and again. So if you don't, if you don't, it, it might, in my personal opinion, if you don't go to the A here, it, it kind of sounds weird. So I'll go from uh, the end of the uh, verse to the chorus. So. Um, And then it goes, oh, here she comes, watch out boy, she'll chew you up, oh, here she comes. You know, so that's using the A, you can tell the difference. If you're not using the A, if you just have a normal uh, B minor, so. Oh, here she comes. It's just, you're playing, it, it just feels like you're playing that chord for a bit a bit too long, you know. But, uh, but you can if you want, you know, there, there, there's nothing saying you shouldn't. Uh, so what we're doing is basically we're going between the B minor here to the A major. So, and okay, if if you're finding it, you know this is difficult enough if you're a beginner. So if you're having trouble with this, just just stick with the B. And uh, so we finished that. So once again, I would go through a D, A, C, B major. Minor, and then an A to the diminished A shape to the B minor between the A. Right, so th there is a lot going on in, in the verse for you know for for beginners here, which I think this lesson is primarily for. Um, right, next next we're going to get to the chorus in the next lesson, so stay tuned for that, guys.